29 forecast. Well, let's get you set up for this last day of April and the start of May. Hello, I'm Storm Team 29 meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. Here's the view outside in northern Albemarle County in Earliesville of the Holly Media area at the Charlottesville Albemarle Airport, showing some mid to high level clouds, giving us a red sky sunrise. This vantage point is off to the south and west, uh, and this corridor in central Virginia will be on the dry side, but towards the Shenandoah Valley and the area south of the James River, there's a slight chance for a passing shower. The atmosphere over most of the area is on on the dry side, a light northeast breeze, 45 degrees currently in Charlottesville. And in that first forecast for Charlottesville and Central Virginia, we will have clouds, hazy breaks of sun, upper 40s at 8, low 60s at noon, mid 60s at 5 p.m. Most areas are dry. A few more breaks of sun off to the northeast of Charlottesville. Now for the Shenandoah Valley, Harrisonburg, Stanton, and Waynesboro, here's your first forecast for today. A cool start in the 40s, mostly cloudy skies, more clouds over this way uh, into uh, areas of Stanton. Augusta County, your most favored to see a brief shower later on, midday upper 50s and low 60s and mainly dry here this evening. Waking up to temperatures wide ranging, clearer skies in Culpeper County, areas of frost 39 degrees, cloudier sky south and west, and those clouds are acting as a blanket, keeping the temperature a bit higher, low 50s into portions of Buckingham County. NBC 29's live Doppler radar scope is on the dry side. No rainfall, at least here at home, but there are some showers not too far away. If you have travel plans south and west on I-81 towards the Roanoke Valley, New River Valley, showers are most common out this way. We're watching rain over the Middle Ohio Valley. Most of that rain will bypass us, at least in the short term outlook, off to the south and west. Now the big picture shows a swirl of a storm. Look at that rotation over areas of Omaha. There was a severe weather and tornado outbreak last night from the high plains, central plains states. Now as that system moves eastbound, it's going to weaken, but give us a chance for an isolated severe storm as we head into later on Sunday and Sunday evening. For today though, the severe weather risk is across the uh, Midwest, lower Great Lakes, mid Mississippi Valley on down into Texas. So as we look ahead though on our high res weather tracker, it shows clouds, hazy breaks of sun today, shower chance south and west. Tonight mainly dry. Shower chances are mostly to our north into tomorrow morning and then it's midday to the evening hours west to east. There's midday Shenandoah Valley. You're first up to see a shower and thunder shower and then by uh, four or five, six o'clock central Virginia and then after sunset the rain is gone and then localized damaging winds will be possible with any storm that gets going later on tomorrow and tomorrow evening and then we're dry Monday low 80s more showers and storm chances later Tuesday and Wednesday and then again Friday and a week from now. Your forecast for today highs low 60 south and west mid to upper 60 Charlottesville but pushing 70 and Madison to Culpeper with sunnier skies for the overnight mostly cloudy most areas are dry with lows upper 40s and low 50s Sunday's outlook May the 1st pushing 80 south of the James River low 70s Madison to Standardsville and into the valley mid 70s I-64 corridor chances for showers and thunderstorms begin to increase afternoon and evening seven day forecast 50s tomorrow night low 80s and breezy on Monday and dry low 80s mostly dry during the day on Tuesday showers and storms become more common Tuesday night into Wednesday low 80s and then cooler Thursday low 70s maybe some more rain and upper 60s by next Friday afternoon and uh, maybe next weekend too yeah right on time for our Fridays after five we may have some showers but uh, plenty of time to fine-tune that all important forecast for that all right for sure